Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can access your iCloud account from your PC or Mac computer. It actually works the exact same way on both platforms because it is a cloud-based system. So, to access iCloud we just need to open up a new tab in our browser and we're going to go to iCloud.com. Once we're at iCloud.com, we need to log in with our iCloud account. Now, you might already know your username and password for your iCloud account. It should be your Apple email address. It doesn't have to be an email address that is actually at Mac.com or at iCloud.com. It could be at Gmail.com. It's whatever you signed up for your iCloud account with. If you're unsure, you can go on either your iPad or your iPhone, go to your settings, go to the iCloud section, and look at the account that is logged in there, and that should be your iCloud account. So once you know your iCloud account, and then just to throw it out there, if you do completely forget, you can open up a new tab and you can go to iForgot.Apple.com. And at this website, you can say that, sorry, my browser is in Spanish here because I like to continue to learn Spanish. Uh, so I put some of my systems in Spanish. Uh, but you can click on this says, have you forgot your Apple ID? It would say that in English. You could click on this link to try and recover your Apple ID. But going back to iCloud, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign in with my iCloud account here real quick. And once you've signed in with your iCloud account, you can see you've got access to a number of different iCloud features. You can access your mail online. I'm not going to click on it. Actually, my inbox is empty, so I can go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that my mail loads right up here. So I can click up back here at the top left to go back to any of these sections. I can access all of my contacts. It is a good way to make sure that all of your contacts are backed up to iCloud. You could access your calendar, your notes, your reminders. Find My Phone is obviously an awesome feature. So if you lose your cell phone or iPad or even your MacBook Pro and you've enabled the Find My Phone feature, you can go ahead and click on this section and it will show you the GPS location of your device. You can make it play a sound if you've lost it so you could find it where if it's sitting in your house somewhere and you don't know where it is you could also erase it remotely if you think it's been stolen you don't want anybody to access that data you can also access your pages numbers and keynote files that you've saved with an iCloud and I'm gonna go back home real quick here I know that a lot of you are wondering how to access iCloud because you want to get the pictures that you have saved in iCloud well you can't get those pictures from here on iCloud.com there's a couple of different ways to do that you could if you have a Mac computer you could actually go into iPhoto and sign in with your iCloud account in iPhoto and you'll be able to access your photo stream your shared pictures if you don't have a Mac computer you can you'll have to access it through your mobile device whether it's an iPad or iPhone you can log in with your iCloud account and have your photo stream synced to that particular device there isn't a way to access your full iCloud backup on iCloud.com so if you've done a full iCloud backup which means you've got all your phone or iPad settings pictures apps, everything saved on iCloud, the only way to access that is to restore from your iCloud backup. So if you have a device and you want to get your pictures that are backed up to iCloud, not the ones that are just in PhotoStream, but actually every single picture that you have backed up, you would actually have to erase the device and restore from your iCloud backup, which you can probably search Google how to do. But this is how you can access your iCloud account, uh, which is what the purpose of this tutorial is. You can access all of this information in here. So I hope this video helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. It's Anson from AnsonAlex.com.